Okay, so the Gu Chin is a seven stringed musical instrument, is that right? Seven strings, so originally it had five, and then one of the emperor's sons died, and so they added a sixth string, and that string is particularly sorrowful. And then the seventh string was added um, to inspire soldiers, apparently, is that right? Uh, and the sound of the seventh string is very strong. Okay, so um, if you can look at this musical instrument, the name means old musical instrument, is that right? Yeah. Old instrument. The top is rounded, that represents the sky, and the bottom is flat, representing the earth, is that right? Yeah, that's right. yeah? okay. Um, it's exactly 3 feet 65, 3 Chinese feet 65 um, inches long, <laughs> representing the year. So the measurements are very important. Okay, um, is there anything else that we need to say about it, Ambrose? Um, and about the name, actually, uh, maybe you are told that the name is Gu Qing, which means old, uh, old Qing. But actually, in ancient China, it's just called Qing. Qing, okay. Alright, and mastery of this instrument, along with mastery of the game of Go, calligraphy, and painting, these four skills were the mark of a gentleman, um, or the mark of an educated scholar. Okay? Apparently, according to my source, only about 2,000 people in the whole world can play this instrument. I don't know whether that's right. I'm sure that it's more. But, but, but a unique skill. Okay, so... This is Not making any noise, paying full respect. Okay, anything else? I'll be next. Sorry, um, Shat wants to know if she could video you. Ah. Can she video you? Yeah, yeah. feel free. Okay. <laughs> we already do. Okay. Um, we, we are already doing Okay, and we're going to be listening to a short composition. Okay, but you need to be very quiet to fully appreciate it. Okay? Thank you very much. The name of the mu this music is called Jiu Huang and translated as drunken manis. Basically it describes a, a, a kind of drunken people. <laughs>
a CD that represented human music uh, to the um, what else do we need to say? I'm sure that Ambrose would be happy to answer any questions you've got to ask him about, you know, when uh, when he learned, how if he's continuing to learn, and so on. So at the end of this, um, we're now going to have our workshops.